Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the Krebs cycle, the second step of the aerobic respiration, which directly occurs after the glycolysis process that we have talked about in the previous video. In the previous video, we stopped at the glucose molecule with the six carbon atoms, which is oxidized through the glycolysis into two pyruvic acid molecules each with three carbon atoms and during the process of glycolysis we have two ADP molecules oxidizing to two ATP molecules we got an energy produced with a value of two ATP and we have two NAD plus reduced into two NADH. After the pyruvic acid molecules are produced, we got two pyruvic acid molecules, each with three carbon atoms. They um, change into two A steel CoA. This is because we have here two CoA. CoA is a coenzyme, a coenzyme which is used to reduce the pyruvic acid molecules into 2-acetyl-CoA. The two CoA each use a carbon atom from the pyruvic acid, so they transform into two carbon dioxide molecules. So we have here two carbon dioxide molecules produced during this transformation. And accordingly, as we have lost two carbon uh, atoms from the two pyruvic acid molecules, we have here each 2 acetyl coa of a carbon content of two atoms. During this also, we have two NAD+, reduced into two NADH molecules. So we got two acetyl-CoA. The acetyl groups which are produced from the disintegration of the fatty acids and proteins the amino acids here can also join the two acetyl co uh, molecules in the Krebs cycle. So the Krebs cycle begins with this two acetyl coa. The two molecules do not enter the cycle at the same time. One molecule enters and the other waits until the first one finishes, then it goes. So here we have a CoA waiting until um, its turn comes in order to join the cycle and the other enters the cycle. When it enters the cycle, a compound here is waiting for it. This is called oxaloacetic acid. This has a, a carbon content of four molecules. So with four molecules of carbon joining two molecules of carbon, it will yield a six carbon compound, which is 
the citric acid with six carbon atoms. Then this compound begins to lose its carbon content of atoms till it reaches to the four carbon by uh, losing it to produce the carbon dioxide. So the cit citric acid transforms into keto glutaric acid with 5 carbon so we have here a carbon dioxide produced and NAD plus reduced into NADH only one NAD plus reduced into 180H. Then, ketoglutaric acid transforms into succinic acid with 4 carbon. So, we have here another carbon atom lost with production of carbon dioxide and we have NAD plus also one reduced into NADH then succinic acid changes into malic acid and here we have the carbon content stable and we have an ADP oxidizing to ATP and FAD reduced into FADH2. So th this is the first FAD molecule to be reduced in the uh, aerobic respiration because we didn't have any FAD in the glycolysis. Then the uh, malic acid transforms back into the oxaloacetic acid with an NAD plus oxidizing to NADH. This cycle is the Krebs cycle, the circle down here. After the first CoA finishes its cycle, the other one joins the cycle. So the products of NAD plus and FAD, ADP are doubled. And uh, so it's repeated twice. And it's called the citric acid cycle because whenever a CoA joins the cycle, it combines with the oxaloacetic acid to form the citric acid so it's, for, it's called the citric acid cycle. If you calculate the number of the NAD produced, we have 1, 2, 3, multiplied by 2 because it's repeated twice, we have 6 NAD H. FAD, we have only 1 by 2, we get 2 FAD. And the um, A ATP, we have also two ATP molecules, and here we have two carbon dioxide molecules produced, and this is the Krebs cycle. After uh, finishing the Krebs cycle, the products, the energy forms, these energy forms path through the electron transport chain in order to release this energy and we all know how this happens in the next video and until then I thank you for watching and see you next time